extreme levels of thermal radiation created during the process, all rigs should be kitted out with a heat suppression safety system before commencing flaring operations as a primary form of protection. This will ensure that the safety parameters stated in API 521 are achieved. Rig cool heat suppression safety systems are comprised of three layers of protection to ensure the safety of both personnel and equipment. The boom system is positioned on the boom, close to the burner head to provide the first stage of heat attenuation or reduction. The large volumes of seawater, converted to a fine spray by the boom system smart nozzles, means this first layer attenuates thermal radiation by 90%, while at the same time greatly reducing the amount of water required at rig side. Today's modern, cleaner burning, high flow rate burner heads create such high levels of radiant heat that a second and third layer are required to guarantee total safety. The second layer of protection is the rig side array, which consists of a series of smaller, inch and a half smart nozzles strategically positioned to ensure that safe levels of transmissivity are maintained for equipment and personnel. Extensive pre-flaring simulation and scenario modelling is backed up with real-time tests during flaring, with our fully trained technicians using flare radiometers and laser thermometers to identify hotspots and confirm safe operating temperatures are being maintained on all areas of the rig. Variables such as wind shear are taken into consideration to ensure safe levels of transmissivity are maintained in all potential weather conditions. For sensitive equipment positioned adjacent to the flare boom, a final protective layer is installed for total safety system integrity. This can be particularly useful for satellite domes, winches and winch houses, and cranes. Thermal radiation reflective blankets, as with the first two layers, have a heat transmissivity rating of 0.1, meaning they remove 90% of any remaining thermal radiation. In many cases, activating a rig cool heat suppression safety system can result in ambient air temperatures rig side that are actually lower than before flaring commenced. Workers should, however, still take normal precautions on an individual level to protect themselves. In order to reduce heat stress, personnel are recommended to wear breathable protective clothing, drink water frequently in small amounts, and take periodic rest breaks in cooler conditions. In high heat and tropical conditions, rig workers should drink between one and two litres of water per hour to replace lost fluids, remembering to maintain safe salt levels. Good nutrition and sleep patterns also reduce a worker's susceptibility to heat stress. An easy way to assess your level of hydration is by using a urine colour comparison chart, which is readily available through safety organisations. Following simple precautions, in conjunction with an effective heat suppression safety system, can virtually eliminate the threat of heat stress but there are still a few hazards for you to consider during flaring operations. Next up are noise injuries. There are plenty of long-term injuries that can be prevented with the use of simple PPE. 85 decibels, or the level of sound inside a car in city traffic, is considered to be the maximum safe level of exposure for an eight-hour shift. With the use of approved sound measuring devices, RigCool have found that sound levels during offshore flaring can typically exceed 100 decibels, so protection is recommended to avoid injuries. The symptoms of noise injuries include the inability to hear clearly or fully, fatigue at the end of the day from straining to hear, and the necessity to stare at people when they are talking to fully understand what they are saying. PPE is both readily available and extremely effective and can consist of either expanding or custom molded internal earplugs, noise suppression earmuffs, or noise cancelling headphones. RigCool recommend the use of a combination of these methods during flaring operations to avoid potential long-term hearing loss. Just remember to have your hearing protection in place before exposure to noise occurs. And finally, there's flare glare. As with brazing, torch cutting or welding, flaring operations create potentially injurious optical radiation. The type, severity and duration of injuries sustained can vary depending on the level of exposure and the intensity of light responsible for the injury. The loss or reduction of sight caused is generally irreversible, yet may be prevented by simply ensuring your eyewear provides an appropriate level of protection. Precautions should be taken at all times to protect against both direct and incidental light exposure. For the types of glare-related light exposure common on oil and gas rigs, the minimum recommended level of protection is Spectacles Class 1B with side and radiation protection. And don't forget, staring at a flare will damage your eyes in much the same way as staring at the sun will, so avoid prolonged direct exposure. Rig Cool are committed to your safety and all this information is provided in a convenient format on our offshore safety cards, which are made available to all rig personnel before flaring operations commence. Rig Cool pride themselves on providing the most effective heat suppression safety system available today. 
Their extensive training, research and modelling combined with real world experience means rigside lives and assets are protected during offshore flaring operations. Remember, wear breathable protective clothing, drink between one and two litres of water per hour, take periodic rest breaks, use sound protection PPE and wear protective glasses that protect against both direct and incidental light radiation. A rig cool safety system coupled with your own due diligence and use of appropriate PPE will ensure that essential flaring operations are completed productively and safely. Be smart, be safe and stay cool with rig cool. Visit the RigCool website for more information about heat suppression safety systems.